Hello guys, good morning, welcome again. This is Don Geraldo, your host for today. So, we are already finished with the foundation of education. And now, let's proceed with the child and adolescent development. So, this is one of the professional education subject during the licensure, licensure examination for teacher. So, we're gonna have part 1 and part 2 for this review where and together we will learn we will review and we will become a licensed professional teacher soon so i hope you are fine let's proceed with our review child adolescent child and adolescent development part one question number one Dr. Escoto, the school physician, conducted a physical examination in Ms. Manuel's class. What concept best describes the quantitative increase observed by Dr. Escoto among learners in terms of height and weight? A. Development B. Growth C. Learning D. Maturation Again, Dr. Escoto, the school physician, conducted a physical examination in Ms. Manuel's class. What concept best describes the quantitative increase observed by Dr. Escoto among learners in terms of height and weight? A. Development B. Growth C. Learning D. Maturation Answer correct answer is letter B. Guys, the same pa rin tayo ha. 10 seconds only ang pag-answer ng bawat questions para matrain tayo for the licensure examination for teacher. Okay, answer is letter B, growth. Number 2. Which situation best illustrates the concept of growth? Again, which situation best illustrates the concept of growth? A. A kinder student or a, kin a kinder pupil gains 2 pounds within 2 months. B. A high school student gets a score of 85 in mental ability test. C. An education student has gained knowledge on approaches and strategies in different teaching subjects. And letter D. An elementary grader has learned to play piano. Again, which situation best illustrates the concept of growth? A. A kinder pupil gains 2 pounds within 2 months. B. A high school student gets a score of 85 in mental ability test. C. An education student has gained knowledge on approaches and strategies strategies in teaching different subjects and letter d an elementary grader has learned to play piano answer okay correct answer is letter a a kinder pupil gained two pounds within two months Okay, let's proceed with question number 3. Which statements below best describes development? Which statements below best describes development? A. A high school student's height increased by 5'2 to 5'4. B. A high school student's charge in weight change in weight from 110 pounds to 120 pounds. Letter C, a student had, had learned to operate the computer. And letter D, a student's enlargement of hips. Again, which of the following statements below best describes development? A, a high school student's height increased by 5'2 to 5'4. B, a high school student's change in weight from 110 pounds to 120 pounds, 25 pounds. C. A student had learned to operate the computer. And letter D. A student's enlargement of hips. Answer.
Correct answer is letter C. A student had learned to operate the computer. Question number four. What concept can best describe Francesco's ability to walk without a support at the age of 12 months because of the internal ripening that occurred in his muscles, bones, and nervous system development? A. Development B. Growth C. Learning D. Maturation Again, what concept can best describe Francesco's ability to walk without a support at the age of 12 months because of the internal ripening what that occurred in the muscles, bones, and nervous system development? A. Development B. Growth C. Learning D. Maturation Answer Correct answer is letter D, maturation. Next question, number 5. Teacher Jesus is now 69 years old, has been observing changes in himself such as the aging process. Which term refers to development change in the individual? A. Development B. Growth C. Learning the maturation again teacher jesus is now 69 years old has been observing changes in himself such as the aging process which term refers to the development changes in the individual a development b growth c learning d maturation answer Correct answer is letter D, maturation. Next question, number 6. Manuel, a 5-year-old boy, can hold his pen and write his name with his right hand. Which term describes Manuel's actions behavior? A, development. B, growth. C, learning. D, maturation. Again, Manuel, a 5-year-old boy, can hold his pen and write his name with his right hand. Which term describes Manuel's actions or behavior? A. Development B. Growth C. Learning D. Maturation Answer Correct answer is letter A. Question number 7. Which of the following theory can help Miss Samson determine the readiness of her learners by administering a readiness test? A. Conditioning theories B. Cognitive development theory C. Maturation theory or D. Ethological theory Which of the following theory can help Miss Samson determine the readiness of her learners by administering a readiness test? by administering a readiness test. A. Conditioning theories B. Cognitive development theory C. Maturation theory or letter D. Ethological theory Guys, please uh, keep track of your score and if you have any question, please comment down below tapos sagutan natin yan. Uh, it's either mag-comment yung ibang tao sa inyo dyan or mag-comment ako kung meron akong may share. Or we can answer that on the next video. So just keep track of your scores, your questions, etc. etc. And share it down below para ma laman natin lahat. Malaman natin yung progress ng review natin. Okay. Question number 7. Answer is. Answer is letter C, maturation. Question number 8. Mr. Francisco was very much worried about the thumb sucking of his hand. A friend of him says that certain behavior among infants who presented that notion that certain behavior like thumb sucking is a normal behavior. Again, Mr. Francisco was very much worried about the thumb sucking of his son. A friend of him says that 
certain behavior among infants. Who presented that notion that certain behavior like thumb sucking is a normal behavior? A. Sin Sigmund Freud Sigmund Freud A. Sigmund Freud B. Eric Erickson C. John Bowley D. Yuri Brufin Benner Yuri Brufin Benner Again, Mr. Francisco was very much worried about the thumb sucking of his hand. A friend of his a friend of him says that certain behavior among infants who presented that notion that certain behavior like thumb sucking is normal behavior. A Sigmund Fruid Fruid Bunny Fruid Mr. A Sigmund Fruid Sigmund Fruid or Sigmund Fruid B Eric Erickson C Jan Bowley or D Yuri Brufinbiner Answer. Correct answer is letter A. Sigmund Freud or Freud. Okay, next question number 9. A newborn infant moves his whole body at one time instead of moving a part of it. Which of the following principles is illustrated by this behavior? A. Development proceeds from specific to general. B. Development proceeds from general to specific. C. Development follows an orderly pattern. Or D. Development follows a general pattern. Again, a newborn infant moves his whole body at one time instead of moving a part of it. Which of the following principles is illustrated by this behavior? A. Development proceeds the specific to general. B. Development proceeds from general to specific. C. Development follows an orderly pattern. Or D. Development follows a general pattern. Answer. Correct answer is letter B. Development proceeds from general to specific. Question number 10. Train up a child in the way he should be. When he grows, he will not depart from it. Which principle supports this? A. Development is determined by his heredity. B. Development is de determined by the, the environment. C. Early development is more critical than the late development. Or D. Early development is critical than the late in development. Again, train up a child in the way he should be. When he grows up, he will not depart from it. Which principle supports this? A. Development is determined by heredity. B. Development is determined by environment. C. Early development is more critical than the late development. Or D. Early development is less critical than the late development. Answer. Correct answer is letter B. Development is determined by the environment. Next question number 11. Which state of the psychosexual theory does young boys experience rivalry with their father for their mother's attention and affection? Which states of the psychosexual theory does young boys experience rivalry with their father for their for their mother's attention and affection? A. Oral B. Anal C. Phallic D. Latency Again, which state of psychosexual theory does young boys experience rivalry with their father for their mother's attention and affection? A. Oral B. Anal C. Phallic D. Latency Answer Correct answer is letter C, phallic. Question number 12. Angela focuses her attention on the schoolwork and vigorous play and consumes most of her energy. Which stage of psychosexual theory illustrates her behavior? 
A oral, B anal, C phallic, D latency. Angela focuses her attention on the schoolwork and vigorous play that consume most of her physical energy. Which state of psychosexual theory illustrate her behavior? A oral, B anal, C phallic, D latency. Answer. Correct answer is letter D, Latin C. Question number 13. Which of the following is likely to be developed if infants are shown genu genuine affection? Which of the following is likely to be developed if infants are shown genuine affection? A. Trust. B. Autonomy. C. Initiative. Or D. Industry. Answer. Again, which of the following is likely to be developed if infants are shown genuine affection? A. Trust. B. Autonomy. C. Initiative. Or D. Industry. Answer. Correct answer is letter A. Trust. Question number 14. Christian develops an integral and coherent sense of self. He seeks answers to the question, Who am I? Which of the following is Christian likely to be developed? A. Initiative B. Identity and Role Confusion C. Intimacy D. Autonomy Again, Christian develops an internal coherent sense of self. He seeks answers to the question, Who am I? Which of the following is Christian likely to develop? A. Initiative B. Identity versus Role Confusion C. Intimacy and D. Autonomy. Answer. Correct answer is letter B. Identity and role confusion. Next question, number 15. Mrs. Ries uses images and languages to represent and understand her various lessons to preschool learners. What stage in the cognitive theory of development explain this? Mrs. Ries uses images and languages to represent and understand and understand her various lessons in the preschool learners. What stage in the cognitive theory of development explain this? A. Sensory motor B. Pre-operational C. Concrete operation or D. Formal operation A. Sensory motor B. Pre-operational C. Concrete operation or D. Formal operation Answer is letter B, pre-operational. Next question, number 16. Kone develops concepts necessary for everyday living, builds healthy attitude towards oneself, and achieves personal independence. These are among the attributes of an individual in what particular stage? A. Infancy and early childhood B. Middle childhood C. Adolescence or D. Early childhood Again, Connie develops concrete co necessary Again, Connie develops concepts necessary for everyday li living Builds healthy attitudes towards oneself and achieve personal independence. There, these are among the attributes of individual in what particular stage? A. Infancy and early childhood. B. Middle childhood. C. Adolescence. Or D. Early childhood. Answer. Correct answer is letter B. Middle childhood. Answer is letter B, middle childhood. Number 17. Some children are more attractive than others. As everyone knows, extremely high levels of activity or hyperactivity are considered problematic. How may a teacher help a child who is hyperactive? 
A. Make him the leader of the class. B. Transfer him to another class. C. Give him challenging activities that are appropriate to his ability level and interest. Or letter D. Allow him, him to spend longer at the playground until he gets tired. Choices. Make him the leader of the class. B. Transfer him into another class. C. Give him challenging activities that are appropriate to his learning, to his ability, level, and interest. Or letter D. Allow him, him to spend longer at the playground until he gets he gets tired. Hey, bulol bulol. Answer is letter C. Give him challenging activities that are appropriate to the ability level and his interest. Number 18. Tessa gets jealous whenever she sees her father showing love and affection to her mother. Which of the following is she showing according to Freud? A. Complex B. Phallic C. Electra Complex or D. Oedipus Complex Th Tessa gets jealous whenever she sees her father showing love and affection to her mother. Which of the following are showing is the showing according to Freud? Freud or Freud? Or Freud? Basta? Sigmund Freud? Or Freud or Freud? Basta Sigmund Freud? The correct answer is Electra. Electra complex. When a boy got jealous with his father with attention to his mother, then that what's, that's what we called as Oedipus. Electra, the counterpart for female. 19. 19. Question 19. In Piaget's theory of cognitive development which of the following statements should illustrate edward who is 11 years old a able to see relationship and to reason in abstract b unable to break down a whole into separate parts c differentiate goals and goals directed activities or letter d experiments with methods to reach goals question number 19 in piaget's theory of cognitive development which of the following statements should illustrate Edward who is 11 years old? A. Able to see relationship and to reason in the abstract. B. Enable to break down a whole into separate parts. Or C. Differentiates goals and goals directed activity. Or letter D. Experiments with the methods to reach the goals. Answer. Correct answer is letter A. Able to see relationship and to reason in the abstract. Question number 20. Trisha goes with her mother in school. She enjoys the workplace of her mother. Which of the following ecological theories is illustrated by the situation? A. Microsystem B. Mesosystem C. Exosystem Or letter D. Macrosystem again. Trisha goes with her mother in school. She enjoys the workplace for her mother. Which of the following ecological theories is illustrated by the situation? A. Micro system B. Meso system C. Exo system Or letter D. Macro system Answer Correct answer is letter C, exosystem. Question number 21. Lito, a student in a secondary level, tends to spend more time with his friends and his family. Thus, his behavior is greatly affected by them. In which stage in psychosocial stages of development does Lito belong? A, autonomous versus shame versus doubt. Or B, Identity versus role confusion. C. Intimacy versus isolation. Or letter D. Intim 
initiative versus guilt. Again, Lito, a student in secondary levels, tend to spend more time with his friends and his family. Thus, his behavior is greatly affected by them. In which stage in psychosocial stages of development does this belong? A. Autonomous versus shame and doubt. B. Identity versus role confusion. C. Intimacy versus isolation. Or letter D. Initiative versus guilt. Answer. Correct answer is letter D. Initiative versus guilt. Okay, question number 22. Anna believes that authority is respected. She is now what particular level in moral development theory of Lawrence Kohlberg? Again, Anna believes that authority is respected. She is now in what particular level in moral development theory of Lawrence Kohlberg? A. Social contract B. Law and order orientation C. Interpersonal concordance or letter D. Universal ethics orientation Again, Anna believes that authority is respected. She is now in what particular level in a moral development theory of Lawrence Kohlberg? A. Social contract B. Law and order orientation C. Interpersonal concordance or letter D. Universal ethics orientation Answer Correct answer is letter A, social contract. Next question number 23. Third to the last question. What level has four-year-old learner like Mary Ann reach when she acquired new skills? Again. Sorry, I'm sorry. Again. What level has a four-year-old learner like Mary Ann reached when she acquired new skills such as putting the same shapes and the same colors together? A. Development B. Maturation C. Zone of Proximal Development or Letter D. Learning Again, what level has a four-year-old learner like Mary Ann reached when she acquired new skills such as putting the same shapes and the same colors together a development b maturation c zone of proximal development or letter d learning answer correct answer is letter c zone of proximal development next question number 24 which of the following principles can be the basis of growing realization of significance of the early childhood education. Which of the following principles can be the basis of growing realization of significance of the early childhood education? A. The young children are capable of doing many things at an early age. Letter B. The child should be seen and should learn. Letter C. The first five years of life are the formative years of the child. Or letter D. Early childhood experiences can be interesting and challenging. Answer. I repeat the choices. The young children are capable of doing many things at an early age. Letter A. Letter B. The child should be seen and should learn. Letter B. Letter C. The first five years of life are formative years of the child. Or letter D, early childhood experiences can be interesting and challenging. Answer? The correct answer is... Letter B, the child should be seen and should learn. Last question for part 1. Which of the following learners' characteristics will affect most of the learners' learning in the academic class? Letter A, his affective characteristic. Letter B, his cognitive characteristics. Letter C, his psychomotor characteristics. Or letter D, his socio-emotional characteristics. Again, which of the following learners' characteristics will affect the most learners' learning in academic class? 
A. His affective characteristic B. His cognitive characteristics C. His psychomotor characteristics or letter D. His socio-emotional characteristics Answer Correct answer is letter B, his cognitive characteristics. Okay? I think we have done with the part 1. Comment down below your scores, your rating, your questions, clarifications para masagot natin at para mabigyan natin ng kalinawan yung mga tanong natin. So, I, I hope na lagpas tayo 75% or hindi tayo bumaba sa 50% sa ating scores. So, I give you 5 minutes for a break. Then, proceed tayo with the part 2. Okay? Okay guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Saan sulok mga mando kayo? 
Uh, by the way, I'll say na 5 minute, minutes na break. Do not pause or do not uh, stop your your ano your your video or your audio player there because I allocate 5 minutes with this recording. So, pwede kayong umabas, umalis. Tapos, pagbalik nyo after 5 minutes, continue na ito kaagad. Okay, let's proceed with the part 2 of the Child and Adolescent Development for Professional Education Licensure Examination Reviewer for Teacher. Part 2 Question number 1 Which of the following is true about human development? A. Human development considers both maturation and learning. D. Development refers to the progressive series of changes of an orderly coherent type toward the goal of maturity. Letter C. Development is the gradual and orderly unfolding of the characteristics of individual as they go through the successive stages of growth. Or letter D. All of the above. Again, which of the following is true about human development? A. Human development considers both maturation and learning. B. Development refers to the progressive series of, of changes of an orderly coherent type toward the goal of maturity. Letter C. The development is the gradual and orderly unfolding of the characteristics of the individuals as they go through successive stages of growth. Or letter D, all of the above. Answer. Correct answer is letter D, all of the above. Next question, number 2. What do you call the quantitative increase in terms of height and weight as observed by the school physician during physical examination of the students? A. Growth. B. Development C. Learning or D. Maturation Again, what do you call the quantitative increase in terms of height and weight as observed by the school physician during physical examination of the students? A. Growth B. Development C. Learning D. Maturation Answer Correct answer is letter B. I letter A growth. Kainan mo na natin yung electric fan. Baka dunok dinig niyo. Okay, next question number three. Answer for number two is letter A growth. Question number three. Mrs. Gomez conducts research on the psychosocial domain of development. In what particular area of child's development is Mrs. Gomez most likely to be interested with? A. Perceptual abilities B. Brainwave patterns C. Emotion or letter D. Use of language Mrs. Gomez conducts research on the psychosocial domain of development. In what particular area of child's development is Mrs. Gomez most likely to be interested with? A. Perceptual abilities B. B. Brainwave patterns C. Emotion D. Use of language Answer Correct answer is letter C, emotion. Okay, let's proceed with the question number four. Which of the following is the correct order of psychosexual, psychosexual stages proposed by Sigmund Freud? Again, which of the following is the correct order of psychosexual stages proposed by Sigmund Freud? Fruid? I don't know the correct pronunciation with this. Fruid? Fruid? 
or fluid? A. Oral, anal, phallic, latency, genital. B. Anal, oral, phallic, latency, genital. Or letter C. Oral, anal, genital, latency, phallic. Or D. Anal, oral, genital, latency, or phallic. Again, which of the following is the correct order of psychosexual stages proposed by Sigmund Freud? A. Oral, anal, phallic, latency, genital. B. Anal, oral, phallic, latency, genital. C. Oral, anal, genital, latency, phallic. Or D. Anal, oral, genital, latency, phallic. Answer. Correct answer is... Letter A, oral, anal, phallic, latency, genital. Question number 5. What is the best description of Erickson's psychosocial theory of human development? A, 8 crises all people are taught to lace. B, 4 psychosocial stages in latency period. C, the same number of stages as fruits but with different names. Letter D, a stage theory that is not psychoanalytic. Again, what is the best description of Erickson's psychosocial theory of human development? A, 8 crises, all people are thought to lace. B, 4 psychosocial stages in latency period. Letter C, the same number of stages as fruits but with different names. Or letter D, stage theory that is not psychoanalytic. Answer. Correct answer is letter A. Eight crises, all people are taught to lace. Question number six. In Erickson's theory, what is the unresolved crisis of an adult? who has difficulty establishing a secure mutual relationship with a life partner. A. Initiative versus guilt. B. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. C. Intimacy versus isolation. Or letter D. Trust versus mistrust. Again, in Eric Erickson's theory, what is the unresolved crisis of an adult who has difficulty establishing secure mutual relationship with a life partner? A. Initiative versus guilt. B. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. C. Intimacy versus isolation. Or letter D. Trust versus mistrust. Answer. Answer is letter C. Intimacy versus isolation. Alisa. Number 7 question. Alisa. Is a 8-year-old and although she understands some, some logical principles, she still has troubles in understanding hypothetical concepts. According to Piaget, Alisa belongs to what particular stage of cognitive development? A. Sensory motor B. Pre-operational C. Concrete operational Letter D. Formal operational Again, Alisa is a 8-year-old and although she understands some logical principles, she still has a trouble in understanding hypothetical concepts. According to Piaget, Alisa belongs to what particular stage of cognitive development? A. Sensory motor B. Pro-operational C. Concrete operational or Letter D. Formal operational Answer Correct answer is letter C, concrete operational. Question number 8. Which of the following provides the best broad description of the relationship between heredity and environment in determining height? Again, which of the following provides the best broad description of the relationship between heredity and environment in determining height? A. Heredity is the primary influence with environment affecting development only in severe situations. Letter B. Heredity and environment contribute equally to the development. Letter C. 
environment is the major influence on physical characteristics. And letter D, heredity directs the individual's potential and environment determines whether and to what degree the individual reaches the potential. Again, which of the following provides the best ab best broad description of relationship between heredity and environment in determining height? A. Heredity is the primary influence with the environment affecting development only in severe situation. B. Heredity and environment contribute equally to development. Letter C. Environment is a major influence on physical characteristics. Letter D. Heredity directs the individual's potential in environment, determines whether and to what degree the individual reaches the potential. Answer. Answer is letter A. Heredity is the primary influence with environment affecting development only in severe situation. Okay, question number 9. What is the correct sequence of prenatal stages of development? Again, what is the correct sequence of prenatal stages of development? A. Embryo germinal fetus B. Germinal fetus embryo C. Germinal embryo fetus Or letter D. Embryo fetus germinal Again, what is the correct sequence of prenatal stages of development? A. Embryo germinal fetus B. Germinal fetus embryo C. Germinal embryo fetus Or letter D. Embryo fetus germinal. Answer. Correct answer is Jeff. Letter C. Germinal. Embryo fetus. Question number 10. When a baby realized that a rubber duck which has fallen out of the tub must be somewhere on the floor, he is likely to achieve what aspect of cognitive development. When a baby realized that a rubber duck which has fallen out of the tub must be somewhere on the floor, he is likely to achieve what aspect of cognitive development? A. Object permanence. B. Deferred imitation. C. Mental combination. D. Goal-directed behavior. <clears throat> Again, when a baby realizes that a rubber duck which has fallen out of the tub must be somewhere on the floor, he is likely to achieve what aspect of cognitive development? A. Object permanence B. Deferred imitation C. Mental combination D. Goal-directed behavior Answer Answer is Object permanence, letter A Okay, proceed to number 11. Which of the following be Prude's description of child's behavior if he has biting sarcastic manner? A. Anally expulsive B. Anally retentive C. Fixated in the oral stage D. Experiences the crisis of trust versus mistrust Again, which of the following will be Freud's description of the child's behavior if he has biting, sarcastic matter, manner? A. Anally expulsive B. Anally retentive C. Fixated in the oral stage or D. Experiencing the crisis of trust versus mistrust Answer Correct answer is Letter C. Fixated in the oral stage. Okay, number 12. What is Freud's idea about a young boy's guilt feelings brought about by jealousy jealousy of his father's relationship with his mother? A. Electra complex. B. Oedipus complex. C. Phallic complex. Or letter D. Penis in Bay complex. What is Freud's idea about a young boy's guilt feelings toward about jealousy of his father's relationship with his mother? 
A. Electra complex B. Oedipus complex C. Phallic complex or letter D. Penis Penis NV complex Answer Correct answer is letter B, Oedipus complex. Okay, question number 3, 13. When a little girl who says she wants her mother to go on vacation so that she can marry her father, Fruit believes that he is voicing a fantasy consistent with A, Oedipus complex, B, Electra complex, C, Theory of Mind, or letter D, Crisis versus Guilt. Crisis of initiative versus guilt. Again, <clears throat> when a girl who says that she wants her mother to go on vacation so that she can marry her father, Fruit believes that he is voicing a fantasy consistent with A. Con Oedipus complex, B. Electra complex, C. Theory of mind, or letter D. Crisis of initiative versus guilt. Answer. Correct answer is letter B, <clears throat> Electra Complex. Question number 14. Which of the following can best describe the preschoolers' readiness to learn new tasks and play activities? Again, which of the following best describe the preschoolers' readiness to learn new tasks and play activities? A. Emerging Competency and Self-Awareness B. Theory of Mind C. Relationship between Parents or Letter D. Growing Identification with Others Again, which of the following can best describe the pre preschoolers' readiness to learn new tasks and play activities? A. Emerging Competency and Self-Awareness B. Theory of Mind C. Relationship with parents or letter D. Growing identification with others. Answer. Sorry. Correct answer is letter A. Emerging competency and self-awareness. Question number 15. James noted that when the preschoolers eagerly begin new Activities but are vulnerable to criticism and feelings of failure. They are experiencing what particular crisis? Again, James noted that when the preschoolers regularly begin many new activities but are vulnerable to criticism and feelings of failure, they are experiencing what particular crisis? A. Identity versus role confusion. B. Initiative versus guilt. C. Basic trust versus mistrust. Or letter D. Efficacy versus helplessness. Again, James noted that when a preschoolers eagerly begin many new activities but are vulnerable with the criticism and feelings of failure, they are experiencing what particular crisis? A. Identity versus role confusion. B. Initiative versus guilt. C. Basic trust versus mistrust. Letter D. Efficacy versus helplessness. Answer. Our Father everlasting. Correct answer is letter B. Initiative versus guilt. Question number 16. What stage of Piaget's cognitive development does a person belong to when he can understand specific logical ideas and apply them to concrete problems? A. Pre-operational thought B. Operational thought C. Create operational thought or letter D. Formal operational thought Again, what stage of Piaget's cognitive development does a person belong to when he can understand specific logical ideas and apply them to concrete problems? A. Pre-operational thought B. Operational thought 
C. Create operational thought or D. Formal operational thought Answer Correct answer is letter C. Create operational thought. Question number 17. What is the best explanation of Piaget's concrete operational thought to describe the school's age the school age child's mental ability? What is the best explanation of Piaget's concrete operational thought to describe the school age child's mental ability? A. A child can reason logically about things and events he or she perceives. B. A child's ability to think about how he thinks. C. Can understand that certain characteristics of an object remain the same when other characteristics are changed. Or letter D. Can understand that moral principles may supersede, or may supersede the standards of society. Again, what is the best explanation of Piaget's concrete operational thought to describe the school age child's mental ability? A. A child can reason logically but about things and events he or she perceives. B. A child's ability to think about how he thinks. Or C. Can understand what certain characteristics of an object remain the same, the same when other characteristics are changed. Or letter D, can understand that moral principles may supersede standards of society. Answer Correct answer is letter C, can understand that certain characteristic of an object remain the same, the same when other characteristics are changed. 18. Number 18. Eliza, who is in between 9 to 11 years of age, are most likely to demonstrate moral reasoning at which Kohlberg stage? A. Preconventional, B. Conventional, C. Postconventional, or letter D. None of the above. Eliza, who is in between 9 to 11 years of age, are most likely to demonstrate moral reasoning at which Kohlberg stage? A. Preconventional B. Conventional C. Postconventional Or letter D. None of the above Answer Correct answer is letter C, post-conventional. Question number 19. According to Kohlberg, a dutiful citizen who obeys the laws set down by society is what is at what is again, again, sorry, sorry. Question number 19. According to Kohlberg, a dutiful citizen who obeys the law set down by society is at which level of moral reasoning A preconventional stage 1 B preconventional stage 2 C conventional or letter D post conventional Again according to Kohlberg a dutiful citizen who obeys the law set down by society is at which level of moral reasoning A preconventional stage 1 B preconventional stage 2 C. Conventional or letter D. Post-conventional Answer Correct answer is letter C. Conventional Question number 20 6 to the last question Anna, who is a low-achieving, shy, and withdrawn is rejected by most of her peers. Here, her teacher wants to help. Anna increase her self-esteem and social acceptance. What can Joyce, what can Anna's teacher suggest to her parents? Again, Anna, who is a low-achieving, shy, and withdrawn, is rejected by most of her peers. 
Her teacher wants to help Hannah increase her self-esteem and social acceptance. What can Anna's teacher suggest to her parents? A. Transfer her to a different school. B. Help her daughter improve her motor skills. C. Help their daughter learn to, ad to accept more responsibility for academic failures. Or letter D. Help their daughter improve her skills in relating to peers. Answer. Again, Anna, who is a low-achieving shy and with Rona, is rejected by most of her peers. Her teacher, teacher wants to help Anna increase her, her self-esteem and social acceptance. What can, Joyce, what can Anna's teacher suggest to her parents? A. Transfer her to a different school. B. Help their daughter improve her motor skills. C. Help their daughter learn to accept more responsibility to her academic failures. Or letter D, help their daughter improve her skills in relating to peers. Answer. Correct answer is... Letter D. Help their daughter improve her skills in relating to peers. Question number 21. What is the most accurate definition of puberty stage? A. Rapid growth that occurs during adolescence b stage when sexual maturation is attained c rapid physical growth and sexual maturation that ends childhood or letter d stage when adolescents establish identify separate from their parents again what is the most accurate definition of puber puberty stage a. Rapid physical growth that occurs during adolescence. B. Stage when sexual maturation is attained. C. Rapid physical growth and sexual maturation that ends childhood. Or letter D. Stage when adolescents establish identifies separate from their parents. Answer. Correct answer is letter C, rapid physical growth and sexual maturation that ends childhood. Now, we are bound to the fourth to the last question. Number 22. 15-year-old Marie is preoccupied with her, with her disgusting appearance and seems depressed most of the time. What is the best thing her parents can do to help her get through this difficult time? A. Ignore her self-preoccupation because their attention would only reinforce it. B. Encourage to shape up and not give in the self-pity. C. Kid her about her appearance in the hope that she will see how silly she is acting. Or letter D. Offer practical advice such as clothing, suggestions to improve her body image. Again, 15-year-old Marie is preoccupied with her disgusting appearance and seems depressed most of the time. What is the best thing her parents can do to help her get through this difficult time? A. Ignore her self-preoccupation because their attention would only reinforce it. B. Encourage shape up and not give in the self-pity. C. Kid her about appearance, her about her appearance in the hope that she will see how silly she is acting. Or letter D. Add, offer practical advice such as clothing suggestion to improve her body image. Answer. Correct answer is letter D. Offer practical advice such as clothing suggestions to improve her body image. Question number 23. What can be the best comparison of the behavior of a 17-year-old child or girl to that 13-year-old brother? Again, what can be the best comparison of the behavior of a 17-year-old girl to that of 13-year-old brother? 
A. She is more likely critical about herself. B. She tends to be more egocentric. C. She had less confidence in her abilities. Or letter D. She is more capable of reasoning hypothetically. Again, she says, she is more likely critical about herself. Letter A. Letter B. She tends to be more egocentric. Letter C. She had less confidence in her abilities. Or letter D. She is more capable of reasoning hypothetically. Answer. Correct answer is letter D. She is more capable of reasoning hypothetically. Second to the last question, number 24. According to Eric Erickson, what is the primary task of adolescent? Okay, according to Eric Erickson, what is the primary task of adolescent? A. To establish trust. B. To, to search for his identity. C. To be more intimate with others. Or letter D. To establish in integrity. Again, A. To establish trust. B. To search for his identity. B. To be more intimate with others. Or letter D. To establish integrity. Answer. Correct answer is letter B. To search for her or his identity. Last question number 25 for part 2. What is the main source of emotional support for most young people who are establishing independence from their parents? A. Older adolescents of the opposite sex. B. Older siblings. C. Teachers. And D. Peer groups. Again, what is the main source of emotional support for most young people who are establishing independence from their parents? A. Older adolescents of the opposite sex. B. Older siblings. C. Teachers. And letter D. Peer groups. Answer. Okay, correct answer is letter D, peer groups. Sige, count your scores for part 1 and part 2 and total everything. And I hope you got 75% or more. And you have no lower than 50% of any of the parts of the exam. So, that's it for the child and adolescent development. I hope we have learned something. And together, we will learn from this together we will become a licensed professional teacher thank you for listening and thank you for studying with me i hope and i pray that uh, every thing that we are having right now everything na pinagdadaanan natin and every hard work na ginagawa natin will be paid off in future times Thank you so much for listening. God bless everyone and good luck future LPTs. Bye! Ah, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, the next topic will be principles and theories of learning and motivation. Uh, it has part 1 and part 2. Okay, that's it. Thank you. God bless you all and goodbye. Good luck.